Energy Balls. <laughs> Hello people, today I'm going to show you how I make my no-bake energy balls slash bites slash whatever. Most of the time we just eat it with a spoon because I'm too la lazy to roll them in a ball. Um, I make these a lot for my daughter's lunchbox and a lot of times just for like a dessert because they have a little bit of chocolate chips in them and they feel decadent for me. Anyway, they're super simple, really, really easy to whip up. Only takes a few ingredients, so I'm gonna go through the ingredients that you're gonna need. All right, you're just gonna need some chia seeds, like a tablespoon. You can omit those if you don't have them, like don't spend the money on them if you um, yeah, don't already have them. Flaxseed meal, some shredded coconut. I have peanut butter, agave nectar, um, vanilla extract, some oatmeal, and then she's got some Dare we do dairy-free chocolate chips, and they're mini, but you can do just any chocolate, chocolate chips that you have. So, we're just gonna dump pretty much all of these into a bowl. The chocolate chips lured another scoundrel in. So, um, basically all you're gonna do, the measurements, I'll list all the measurements and ingredients below, um, but I'll also tell them to you as we're dumping them in. So, here we go. So that's one cup of oatmeal, and if you don't have a standing mixer, who cares, mix it by hand. I just do that because I'm super lazy. That's two thirds cup coconut flakes. This is, you wanna dump that in? That's half a cup of flaxseed meal that's really high in like fiber and protein and all that good stuff. Okay, that's one tablespoon of chia seeds. The recipe calls for a half a cup of chocolate chips, but I just do a quarter cup because, you know, all the sugar and stuff. Um, and as you can see, I don't measure really precisely. I just dump and whatever looks good is good to go. Okay, that's one third cup of agave nectar. Dump it all in. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Half a cup of peanut butter. Okay, and this is half a cup of peanut butter. And I definitely don't measure this. I just do it by the spoonful and I do like three. <laughs> Which is probably way more than I need, but who doesn't love peanut butter? Here, bang it right on the side with me. One. Then you just mix it until it's combined. option if you want or don't want to eat them with a spoon you can throw them in the fridge for like I don't know at least 30 minutes and then roll them into balls it's really easy if they're this way to put them in the lunch box or um, my kids just find it easier to throw them in their mouths this way they are being fiends and eating a ton so it's gonna make more than that amount because we probably eaten I don't know I feel like half but um, yeah they keep coming back for more they love them and I don't know how long they last in that container because they don't last longer than like a day or two at our house. So, um, yeah, if you have any experience with them like going bad, let me know down below. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. We got oatmeal, juicy, and we got chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Zippers are the way to go. Love them so easy. If you are even too lazy for a zipper, I have another option for you here. And my <laughs> my daughter's lived in these because I am super lazy. Again, gender neutral with the green and the stripes. And can I tell you, everything that is geared toward girls has like that little bow right here or like ruffles. Oh, it drives me crazy.